Hello student, the question says, a man walks straight on his walks on a straight road from his home to a market 2.5 km away with a speed of 5 km per hour. Finding the market closed, he instantly turns and walks back home with a speed of 7.5 km per hour. The average speed of the man over the interval of time 0 to 40 minutes is equals to. Okay, let us try to draw the situation. So as given, a man walks on a straight road from his home to a market 2.5 km per away. So let us assume that this is this point, a point is his home. So this is his home. And at a distance of 2.5 kilometers, there is a market. So let us assume that this point is this market. And is it's a straight road. So there is no turn and nothing. And this distance is given as 2.5 kilometer. So from here to here, the total distance is 2.5 kilometer. So once we know that this total distance is 2.5 kilometer, now a, a person starts to walk in this direction. He is walking from home to the market. So in the forward direction, the person is walking in this way. So and finally, he reached the market. He is traveling with a speed of 5 kilometer per hour. So let us try to find what is the time taken. We know time, let me call this time as T1. We know time equals to distance by speed. So here the distance is 2.5 kilometer and the speed is 5 kilometer per hour. So we will get 2.5 1 by 2 into kilometer kilometer would cancel. We will get 1 by 2 hour. 1 by 2 hour means in hour we have 60 minutes. So 1 by 2 into 60 minutes. So we finally get this as 30 minutes. We got the value of time required to complete this journey as 30 minutes. Now in the reverse journey, he is traveling with a speed of 7.5 km per hour. So let us assume he is. So this is the path that represents the reverse. So he is traveling this time with 7.5 kilometer per hour. We need to find average speed only from 0 to 40 minutes. So we need average speed from 0 to 40 minutes. So the extra available time is only 10 minutes because 30 minutes is already used up during forward journey and only in 10 minutes let us try to find how much will he travel in 10 minutes duration. So let us assume only in 10 minutes, he may not be able to cover completely. He might be able to cover this much distance. So let us see what is this distance. So distance travel in 10 minutes. So if you want distance traveled in remaining 10 minutes, we know distance equals to speed into time. The speed in reverse journey is 7.5 kilometer per hour into 10 minutes. But since we want everything in hours, so we can write 7.5 kilometer per hour into 10. One minute means 1 by 60 hours. So let us try to solve this. I'll take it to the next one. So we got D2 equals to 7.5 kilometer per hour into 1 by 6 R. So R and R would cancel out. So we get it as 7.5 by 6 kilometers. So this is the journey that the body is uh, traveling. So it would be roughly 1.25 kilometers. As you can see, in forward it has traveled 2.5, but in reverse it is only traveling 1.25 kilometers. What's the definition of average speed? The definition of average speed is total distance traveled by the body divided by total time. So if you try to find total distance traveled by the body, we get 2.5 km in the forward journey plus 1.25 km in backward journey and total time is 40 minutes. So 40 minute means 1 by 60. So this would be in hours because 1 minute means 1 by 60. I'll write it here. 60 minutes means 
one hour. So one minute means one by sixty hour. So we can solve this now. Sixty by forty into three point seven five. So three point seven five into sixty divided by forty we will get five point six two five kilometer per hour. Five point six two five kilometer per hour. Uh, I think this is more than six. So I think this is also six, and we get forty five by eight approximately because forty five by eight is five point six two five, which would be my option four. Again, I will repeat how we have solved. This is the given question. There is a home market, and the distance is two point five. He is traveling forward with a speed of five kilometer per hour. He is traveling backward with a speed of seven point five kilometer per hour. So, using time equals to distance by speed, I found what is the time required for the forward journey. Same way, thirty minutes is required to complete this forward journey. But we need average speed only from zero to forty minutes. So, in the remaining ten minutes, he is traveling the speed seven point five kilometer per hour. I found what is the distance traveled. The most important thing is converting minutes into hours. So that's the slight difficult thing in this problem. Once we know that, once we convert everything, we get the average speed in this way. Hope you understood how I have solved. Thank you.